Bay 12 Games proudly presents Star Zoo, an intergalactic adventure. I figured, since I was returning to Liberal Crime Squad, why not come back to Star Zoo? For those of you unfamiliar with the game, it's developed by Bay 12 Games. Who knew? You can find it at that link in the Curses Arcade. And there it is, Star Zoo. Posted December 2002. Warning. Violence, language, and religious content. Oh, goodness. I, um... This game... Let's just go. Let's just go. Go ahead and choose a free save slot. I, uh, just put the game back on my computer. Not that it takes much to do so. Gonna go ahead and customize my character. If you don't understand the rules or mechanics of Star Zoo, that's perfectly okay. Um, no one does. <laughs> um, as a matter of fact, um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, several months ago, uh, Tarn Adams himself actually sent me a few PMs uh, talking about Star Zoo. He basically offered to, uh, to share the ending for me and the lead-up if I was so interested. I was like, no, there might be a time where I eventually return to Star Zoo and, uh, and clear it. Well, today's probably not that time. I'm certainly going to return to Star Zoo, but I don't plan on beating it. I know what I am. Let's go ahead with this face, the profession is Marine. That is my favorite profession of this game. You awaken from your nightmare. I... I can't take it anymore! The night vision drives you, and you head to zoo base for the first time. Maybe the last. What is your name, zoo baser? It will be Grimeth. Grimeth, your mission is to collect rare life forms across every galaxy. For some reason, you will face massive opposition. You have been given a small starship to command, and you are welcome to stay here at Zoo Base. The ends justify the means. Of course, we haven't told you the ends, but anyway, you will be paid. And we are sure that this will work will help with your nightmares. Collect the animals! Press enter to begin your mission despite the mysterious motives. And that's what I'm in it for. Deducing the mysterious motives. Now, I don't have a numpad on this laptop keyboard. I don't even have a good process for simulating a numpad on this keyboard. But we are after Snow Cup! I'm pretty sure, if uh, memory serves, using the actual numbers at the top will uh, suffice for the purposes of playing this game. Uh, the Star Zoo is a smorgasbord of minigames, and the first minigame we have here is uh, Getting to the Planet, which is that blue O there, surrounded by doom and gloom. We have merchants over, um, spread out over the map. It'll give us fuel. Uh, we're down there at the bottom middle is a ship, and we have a variety of enemies which will deal a uh, varying amount of damage to us. Let's go ahead and see if whether what I remember is correct. Yep, I'm just going to have to remember uh, where my my numbers are placed in relation to like a genuine numpad. Which is only going to make Star Zoo harder. Star Zoo is ridiculously hard, folks. Star Zoo is unfairly hard. But, you know wasn't exactly designed to, to hold your hand and cuddle with you. <laughs> Star Zoo is a manly game for manly men like me. And I am determined that I I will I will clear this game. Okay, remember my keys. I want to stay away from the carrier, but I need to get close to the planet and I like to attack from the flank. Uh, left or right, it doesn't matter which. I just need to get close. I only have 100 armor. I don't want to get eaten alive out here. So I definitely need to make some distance between myself and that carrier. Let's go ahead and back up. Alright. That'll be good. Carrier, don't you fuck with me. Carrier's launching bombers and fighters. They only have a limited range. They can only go so far. Which is a good thing. Okay. Good, I can make my approach. Press the number one there. The defense satellite fires upon you! Pew, 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 pew! Target is damaged for eight points of armor. You respond to this unprovoked aggression. <laughs> Target eliminated. 
Target neutralized. Oh, shit. Fucking battleship is back there. The planet fires surface cannons at your vessel. Woohoo! Target is damaged for 43 points of armor. But all the same, I made it to the planet, folks. Orbital trajectory calculations. We cannot enter orbit without first performing some difficult mathematical calculations. This subtle work is beyond your onboard computers. Are you ready? Think first before pressing any key. First calculation addition, 5 plus 3 is 8. Are you absolutely sure? God, I hope so. 8 times 0 is 0. And the continuous image of a compact set is compact. Only if the compact set is an automatic. Your ship slides smoothly into orbit. Hurrah! Now here comes my least favorite part. <laughs> Landing on the planet. Now that your ship is in orbit, you need to plan your assault. You'll be taking a lander into a heavily fortified area, but you'll have some choices. The hills have defenses, but that pad is accessible. I'll land there instead of uh, in, the, in the large fortress city with the most defenses. Um, once you go past the orbital trajectory calculation mathematics, for those of you unfamiliar with Star Zoo, you'll only have two of p three potential options. Unless you pick D down there. Which is moronic. Because some of these are much harder than others. You go and pick B here, and hope that I'm not that far away from the landing pad, which I am, actually. And, uh, try to adjust my trajectory. It's been a while since I've done this. I haven't practiced at all. And, uh, to say that I'm nervous is an understatement. It's only Snow Cup, folks. It's only Snow Cup, he says, chuckling to himself. <laughs> oh, Hitman. <laughs> so paralyzed in fear! Oh, God! God damn it! Son of a bitch! Grimoth Marine had nightmares and attempted to burrow. Well. That takes care of Stazu, everyone! Good news! Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. Let's go ahead and open the game window again. And drag this into being in rough placement unless... Oh yeah, I can just uh, have it do the find window function again while I'm recording. I didn't know I could do that with Bandicam. Well, there you go. Now well, let's go ahead and try again. God damn it. We're off to a bad start here, folks. Randomize my face a few times. That seems good enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grimith Mark II. Just say... Yeah, we'll go in Grimith Mark II. Why not? Snow Cup, here we go again. Woo! Go ahead and grab the fuel just in case. I need it. Let's hope the positioning works out for me here. Carrier... Carriers in my way. Which is lamentable, for sure. Ah, shit. I pressed 8 instead of 7. Well, oh, fuck. It'll be alright. Oh, man. And the dreadnoughts over there, too? I have no chance of reaching a planet from this angle. Oh, fuck. They're hugging that shit. I'm gonna go ahead and retreat. Going after that fuel merchant here. Come here. Get a nom nom on you. I was hoping that the additional time would clear out a space for me, and it appears to have done so. Oh, beautiful. Hurrah! Go Grimoth! Fucking hate the landing so much in this game. <laughs> no good at it. I can handle everything else well enough, especially the assault area, because as a, as a marine, I have so much health, as opposed to normal. But I just can't do uh, the landing. Yeah, 9 times 8 is 72, and subgroups of a Gallo Galois group correspond to field extensions. You call that higher mathematics? Alright, um... Using a large pad in the Fortress City is the logical choice. Here we go. Biggest pad, and I actually got a favorable position here. Which is nice. I mean, I had those missiles there seeking my blood. Yeah. But I'm, uh... 
inside now. Very smoothly coast this baby down. Just enter the shredder, please. And here we go. Sweet. Now we landed. Let's go ahead and uh, choose the route through the main streets, avoiding the highways. Fire my shapes. Oh, it's been a long time since I fired shapes, folks. Oh, goodness. I got... I pinned myself in a corner there. That was an unfortunate position. The vehicle is extensively damaged. I don't want to have to land again. I don't want to land again. <laughs> That's pretty much my greatest terror there. I don't want to land again. <laughs> Please don't make me land again. <laughs> oh, no. All right, that's good. Anything else? Sure is. All right, we can do this. Believe in yourself. Believe! Fuck, he's dodging all my shapes. Don't be dodging my shapes. Let's go ahead and press enter and reach the game preserve. You have reached the fortress complex that is o the only entrance to the game preserve perimeter for us. Field. You must plan your attack. Aw, oh, no tank suit? Damn it. Let's go ahead and crawl through the sewers then. And here's where the Marine Advantage comes into play, having so much health. Does that mean I'm going to win the Shank Wars? Probably not. Come on. Come on, get close to me. Oh, you're going to piss me. There we go. Oh, come on, hit him! There we go. His body slumps over lifelessly. I am the master. I will nom on your corpse now. <laughs> My work here is done. I'll casually saunter over to the next victim. I mean, worthy opponent. <laughs> I stare lifelessly ahead. Okay, here we go. Come on, get some good hits in. You're a marine, don't fuck this up. I definitely should not lose this part of the game. Fucking should not. Fucking should not. I'm not gonna go out of my way to demo various options and choices for you folks. No, that, that was for the earlier Star Zoo series. What I basically plan on doing here is trying to beat Starzer. <laughs> is there really a winner whenever Starzer is involved? I can't answer that question legitimately. Alright, it's enough of that. <laughs> but yeah, this is pretty much the this is what the Marine was built for. Uh, if I were not a marine, then this shit would be far harder due to the lack of life. But yeah, I'm just going to choose the options that I'm most comfortable with that's going to take me to victory. Or so I hope. Come along, you fucking big head motherfucker. Get close to me. Making this shit hard. There we go. Oh, mouse edged into the recording screen. Eh? Let's keep going. Totally got this shit. I, I failed at snow cut. That was just me warming up, folks. It is not an indication of things to come. Most certainly not. Nope, 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 nope. I can do this. I can beat Starzu. I have I have faith in myself and my capabilities. <laughs> oh man, this wasn't like a request. This wasn't, you know, someone please play Star Zoo again. I'll give you tons of money, Grimoth. No, this is this is me. This is all me. And before the world ends, uh, the end of April, I've decided that I've come to the den of the snow cup. All right, behold my glorious mouse pointer as I track the snow cup here. If I fuck up on this section, I think I've talked about that throughout the years. You know, if I fuck up on this section and fail to track the snow cup or insert other animal here, it'd be sad. There we go! First animal retrieved! You return to Zoo Pace with the specimen. Zoo Pace Command thanks you. Over the next few nights, you find sleep easier. You receive your next assignment, the Cupid Hopper, which we're going to save for next time on Let's Get On With It Star Zoo. Again. <laughs>